What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the 12th, yes, 12th, T Kinter tutorial with Python. Uh, in this video, what we're going to be doing is adding this pop up message function uh, to our program. So, the idea of the pop up message is just anytime we call it, we just pass in some text, and the message pops up as its own little kind of warning window or just, just a message window. So, first, let's scroll up to the very top, and you see how we have large font. Now let's go ahead and add a couple of other font sizes. So it's totally conceivable that we want a large font, right? Then we want a you know a normal font and then even a small font. So we're gonna call this one norm font, and then we'll call this one small font. So small font, maybe some little directives underneath something, a caption, something like that. Normal font just for any normal sort of text. Obviously, large font for big important messages, announcements, that kind of thing. So, uh, normal font will do size 10, and then small font will be size 8. Now let's go ahead and uh, define our pop-up message function. Just put it anywhere, basically, but, you know, we've got the classes down here, and then we've got our functions up at top. That's just how I'm going to do it. So now we're going to define pop-up message, and the parameter is going to be message. And this is going to be like a, sh like a really mini tkinter instance, basically. But we'll say popup equals tk dot capital T under case K. And then we're going to say uh, define. Um, and in fact, let's we'll leave that out for now. We'll come back to that. So then we're going to say popup dot wm underscore title. Uh, we'll do, I guess we'll do this. Yeah. So it's just going to be an exclamation mark. Like it's just a notification window. So the title is just exclamation mark. Uh, then we're going to say label equals uh, TTK dot capital L label uh, and then the label will be uh, pop up the text of that label will be the message that's passed through as a parameter and then the font used will be oops norm underscore font then we'll do label dot pack um, we'll do side really I don't really I guess we'll do side top because we'll, and eventually we might have an OK box. So side top, and then uh, we want it to go ahead and fill the X, and then pad the Ys uh, by 10. So pad the edges. Um, actually, pad Y would be top, uh, top and bottom. Um, then we're going to do B1 for button 1. Um, actually, let's do yeah, B1 equals TTK dot capital B for button button and then pop up and then we'll say the text equals OK and then the command here we're gonna have the command be leave mini now we haven't defined that yet but that was what I was right about to define up here so that's what uh, we'll define it right there and then we'll do B1 dot pack. We don't need any parameters there. It'll just naturally go underneath the label. And then we'll do pop up dot main loop. So it's this is like a little miniature instance of tkinter. So now let's real quickly go ahead and define leave mini uh, empty parameters. And then here you just do pop up dot destroy. And that's it. So um, so we'll go ahead and run that real quick, and the option was save or it was save um, save settings. Okay, agree. So we go file save settings. Let's say and it says not supported just yet. We hit OK, no problem. And just out of curiosity, I can't remember if I already tried this in the past or not. But what if we just instead of leave mini throw in pop up destroy? Since that's such a simple uh, function there, let me try that really quick. Yeah, it looks like that works too. So we actually don't need that leave mini function. Uh, since the only thing this function does is run another function that has no parameters, then all, we just need to call this, right? It was, it's only really the case when you want a function to run um, another function with maybe parameters or maybe, if, or maybe you wanna run multiple functions with embedded functions, that sort of thing. Um, then you would need it, but yeah, so actually we don't actually need this little mini function there. The more you know. So that's a little cleaner. So now we've got pop-up message all handled. Now, curiously, uh, my ICO did not disappear. Interesting. 
Uh, in the past, the ICO disappeared because there's a little slight override, but for whatever reason, we're not having it yet. So I guess I'll leave, I'll leave it there. Okay. All right. Um, so that was easy enough. We made the pop-up functionality. Um, and now what we're ready to do is go ahead and add more of the menu options. Um, I think we'll go ahead and do that in the uh, next video. So stay tuned for that. If you guys have any questions or comments on this video, go ahead and leave them below. Otherwise, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and subscriptions. And until next time.